now it's 517. Full moon out there. It's a nice bright start when you look outside over St. Teresa. A few passing clouds. It's a pleasant morning, though. We do have some visibility issues further east. The same area that we've been talking about all week long. Every morning we've seen uh, the fog over towards that I-10, I-75 interchange. Half a mile in Live Oak, two miles in Valdosta. So that stretch from I-75 through southern Georgia up through north Florida. Not ideal if you are driving that way. Use your headlights. A couple extra minutes would be nice. You got upper 60s in southern Georgia, mid 70s here in north Florida, 76 in Tallahassee and Apalachicola. Then you got a handful of 68s through south central Georgia. So a bit more pleasant if you are waking up in Georgia this morning with humidity slightly lower. Titan radar, quiet start. We've been bone dry lately, and we're looking to mainly continue that trend for today. Could be seeing those rain chance increase this weekend. Again, this all hinders on what we see happen down in the tropics. But for today, expect some passing clouds expected to be hot and sunny. We do have potential tropical cyclone nine, which would be Humberto. This is right now just a very sloppy area. Showers and storms down near the Bahamas expected to slowly develop. This track from the National Hurricane Center at 5 a.m. continues to shift eastward very similar to what we saw with Dorian. So what does that mean? Well, the further east you go, that's going to lessen any local impact and maybe just push some moisture, giving us some scattered showers. If we start to trend further west, well, we're looking at more of an impact. Now we're not going to get any real significant impact out of this system, and that's because it's not getting into the Gulf as we continue to trend east. And if it does, it would remain weak. It would be a rainmaker. But further east, well, those rain chance will continue to drop and you're looking at more of a hot and sunny weekend. Tropical storm watches up and down the east coast of Florida tropical storm warnings for the Bahamas. Those poor folks just not getting a break down in the tropics. Well, we're not getting a break anytime soon either. You got this wave train coming off the west coast of Africa, 40% down in the central Atlantic and then a 20% area that was just identified here recently. Still a long ways to go for both these. We're going to be watching them closely, but of course, more importantly, potential tropical cyclone number nine. That's what we're watching the closest. 93 degrees today in Tallahassee. Winds out of the northeast. Overnight lows will dip down in the low to mid 70s. Pretty consistent with where we bent. Your 7A forecast shows, well, these rain chances were starting to trend down as that potential tropical cyclone shifts east. Rain chances go down, temperatures go up. And that's the trend we'll see if it does continue to head that way through next week. We're keeping those rain chances pretty steady, around 30%, getting back into a typical afternoon pop up shower and storm pattern with more moisture, high temperatures in the low to mid 90s, with lows hanging out in the lower 70s.